It's totally exciting, you know, we, we've been working on this for four years and to be able to share it with this audience is always the best. Well, you know, the first time Don shared the idea with me, I was blown away by the three generational story. I thought that was amazing. And then it's got so much action, but yet so much heart. It just, you know, it's right. It's so Don creates these worlds that can only be visited by animation. And at the same time, they're reflective of our world. So that's what I love about working with Don. I did it with Big Hero 6 and now with this. I think that the uh, ecological message is phenomenal. Uh, you know, it's, it's, and it isn't jammed down your throat. It's just basically, what are we going to leave our kids? What is the world we're going to be leaving behind for our kids? So that's, I think it's really important. Don always just creates these worlds that are phenomenal. And Kui is one of the best writers I've worked with. You know, animation writing is different than writing for just a, a script. You're working iteratively with the story team, you're working iteratively with the, the animators, and he knows how to be a collaborator, as did everyone on this show. I mean, the, um, the actors on this show, Jake and, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal and Jabuki and Dennis Quaid, I mean, these guys were amazing in terms of how they worked with us to help build the story. That was so interesting because when we when we did the casting, we didn't really remember that. And then uh, as soon as we told Jake, well, we've got Dennis Quaid coming in, and he goes, you know, he was my father once before. It's always interesting because the challenging question, every film is a challenge. And what I love about it is the challenge. And, you know, you're working with teams of people that you know know what they're doing. So even when it's challenging, it's delightful because they always surprise you. And this film is no different. I think the world that people will see in this film is going to blow them away because they've never seen anything like it. The thing that you know is so appealing is the action. It's so much fun. It's you know it's you know all those great stories from the turn of the 20th century with Jules Verne and and H.G. Wells, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle you know, journey to the center of the earth, that kind of thing. And then you move that forward and you start getting into the film versions of those things, as well as King Kong and, and Raiders. And it's just a great, it, it's like an onion getting peeled back and peeled back and peeled back. And at the end, there's something very sweet in the middle. I wouldn't, I think that they're discovering a way to save their planet. That's what I love about it.